<clears throat> hey guys, I wanted to share with you a uh, jig I made for removing cleats out of reclaimed hardwood floor. I searched YouTube and couldn't really come up with anything. Um, it was mostly for staples. Now there was one guy that uh, had uh, come up with a piece of angle iron and he cut a notch in it and he screwed it down to his workbench and then put a piece of duct tape over it. And then he used a piece of tubing with the punch and then he put it in there like that and then he took and put the pipe over that, the tubing over that and then used the punch and drove it out and uh, I'll tell you what I tried that and it just does not work for me and I think what's happening is I have just a little tiny bit of wiggle room right there just a little space and I think the point of that nail is getting in there and it just jams this thing up solid. So I thought, well, I'll use my cutoff tool. Bought a $20 titanium coated blade. Well, it worked great for about 20 nails. And uh, so for a dollar a nail, you know, I'll try something else. And so uh, I come up with this one by just, you know, make it any length you want. And uh, I just screwed it together, and then I screwed it to this old junky table I have. And uh, this seems to work actually probably just as fast as the multi-tool. And now uh, I'm really open for suggestions. If you guys got any ideas, a uh, faster way to do this, please tell me. And, uh, you know, I thought about, you know, I could cut that off with my Sawzall, or maybe a cutoff wheel on a right angle grinder or a die grinder or whatever you might have. <clears throat> but I don't have that stuff with me right now. So I'm going to try this method for a while till I get tired of it. Now, uh, it would be easier if you had two people. And heck, you know, if you got wife, kids, grandkids, whatever, some drunk buddies come over, make a little production line out of it. You know, make somebody uh, bring your boards. One guy drive them out. One guy pull them. Another guy stack them, whatever. So uh, anyway, I just wanted to show you uh, how this works. And you can drive them out. You can uh, drive out on this end, the middle, this end. It's just as simple as that. And then I did want to point out, you'll run into some of these that are bent over. And uh, now this one I can just straighten up and drive out. But some of them will actually, that cleat will want to bend over where you can't drive it out. And what I found that works really well is if where uh, it's bent, if you just take and put that pliers at the end of that bend and then just take and, you know, wiggle it back and forth and then break it off, and then you go ahead and drive it out. Of course, that one wasn't like that. And then another thing I found by accident, uh, now there's different ways you can pull these nails. You can stand it up and uh, I like to put my, my hammer head right in that groove there in the, in the tongue where, you know, so you don't damage the face of that board. And so that worked pretty well, but then you have to bend down and reach up. So another thing I found if you come back this other direction and you put this at the end of this board and then you can just pull it right out very easily and now this is where it would be handy to have a second person to kind of you know just speed things along so anyway um, that's what I come up with, and uh, I've got about 600 feet to do, and this floor just matches my hardwood floor I have in three bedrooms, uh, perfect. And uh, if it wasn't free, uh, I wouldn't be doing this, trust me. So uh, anyway, I hope this helps somebody. Thanks for watching.